Hi there, I'm Kylie and I play Shionobis and this is what you missed in episode 13. Let's go! The adventurers find themselves with a traitor in their grasp, with Shionobis literally dangling him over the aqueduct in case he tries anything funny. Woodwar approaches the rest of the party for having retrieved whatever the senator threw in the aqueduct. They go through its contents, discovering a bunch of junk meant for distracting and a couple of important looking keys. The supposed senator begs to be released, but the party is having none of it. With his quick thinking, Rufus starts a good cop, bad cop routine with Alona to intimidate the senator to fess up everything going on. Needless to say, he succumbs come to their act and told them he was helping the green army. Rufa takes a moment to sneak a piece of parchment out of his coat pocket and with the help of Shionobis, who has since put the senator down, discovers his name, Lofen Sempris, and his affiliation with the green army official name, Jeb Zebel. Rufa takes this information and runs with it, but in the meantime, Woodward remembers that Lofen threw away two things, the bag he retrieved from the aqueduct and the second item into the sewer. He immediately decides to go investigate with Morel in tow. They hop in the sewer and down a ways discover a giant homunculus blob of goblins? <sighs> but they're asleep. They're asleep, no need to panic. Woodward and Morel quietly book it out of there to join the rest of the adventurers, still interrogating the senator. Back on the surface, the senator acquiesces and gives them a piece of paper detailing more information about the army invasion. Rufa pulls the senator aside and negotiates with him to become one of Rufa's little birds while Alona and Shionobis attempt to decipher the letter written in horrible goblin. The letter states, Move into Double Tall House Farm. Patient sit until Double Tall Mean Green say so. Many shouts, fighty kills, big scare, more gobs will join. To which Alona shouts in alarm that there are goblins under the city. A very pissed off Shionobus looks at Loaf and Sempris, takes his head, dunks it into the aqueduct. When he comes up for air, he hacks and coughs and immediately passes out, but not without Rufa leaving a little note on him reminding him of their deal. Soon after is when Woodward and Morel join them again and confirm that they discovered bloblins in the sewer. Yeah, I know. Bloblins. With this new information, Alona insists that they find Marenle Lagarunun? Yeah, as soon as possible, as they can get her to blow up the Bloblins. But nobody knows where to start. So, Alona suggests finding Zoshmaru and getting the Brotherhood of Dogs to search for her. The adventurers agree and find Zoshmaru in a tavern and task him to point out Marinle to them, which he does in spite of his drunken stupor. Adventurers head to the house of Zoshmaru, and to the surprise, Isawo opens the door. Eventually, the adventurers tell them what they need Marinle to do, and she comes up with this idea for glue bombs that will disintegrate the Bob bloblins without harming the infrastructure of the city. Renly needs time to build five bombs in case there are more bloblins. So Woodward, Morel, and Shionwis go back to the original site where they find the first bloblin, Homoculus, and warn Felix Chance about a possible battle. But not before Woodward instructs the Brotherhood of Dogs to enter the sewers to look for more bloblins. Alona and Rufa decide to stay behind to collect the glue bombs when Marinle is finished, and Alona persuades Isuo to let her speak to the god in the other room. Isuo enters the other room and comes back with eyes glowing with gold light. He greets with, Hello, we are the Orai of the Orisha of Tezuku. Isuo slash Orai explains that the Orisha are the spirit gods of Tezuku, each of them choosing their own vessel to best serve their people. Arai is the peak of human consciousness, which is why he chose Isuo as his mortal form, because he wanted to embody all that human beings are. Ilona asks them if they know what is to come and what will pass. Arai offers a warning of darkness and says, whatever they are expecting, expect worse. Whenever they are finished with the dark battle that they cannot even begin to fathom, they will not like themselves by the end. Meanwhile, Shionobis, Woodward, and Morel have descended into the sewers one more time to find more goblin homaculi. Soon enough, they find one and engage in fierce, <laughs> disgusting battle. Taking down one after the other, they finally defeat one entire conglomerate of goblins, boosting the players up to level two. Finally, we are so excited. <laughs> Covered in goblin guts, that is where we end episode 13 of Edge of Legends. Make sure to tune in 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time to Nat 20 Productions official on Twitch to catch the newest episodes of Edge of Legends as they happen. We look forward to seeing you in the chat as you become legends right alongside with us. Thank you for watching.